welcome back to another Tuesday quick and easy video today I'm going to show you how to make sweater sleeve pumpkins and the best thing about this project is that most of the items you probably already have at home so without further ado let's get started with the video So the first thing you're going to do is grab an old sweater or you can go to your local thrift store just like I did. I went to Goodwill and bought a very inexpensive sweater. Just make sure to wash it before you get started um, as I did because you know. Then you're going to go ahead and cut the sleeve off. Now I'm going to turn the sleeve inside out and then I'm going to tie the wider end with rubber bands. I'm going to cut some of the excess material. I'm going to turn it inside out one more time. And it should look something like this. All right, so now I am going to add Frijoles Negros by Goya. <laughs> These are black beans. Um, you don't have to make them Goya. You can add whatever type of beans you would like. Just make sure that they're uh, in the smaller uh, size that you are going to place at the bottom of your uh, sleeve. And this is going to add a little weight to your pumpkin, okay? All right, so just make sure to distribute the beans evenly. And I actually ended up using the entire bag. So it's going to depend how big your sleeve is. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. Next, I'm going to be adding my fiber field inside my sleeve and just try to make it as round as possible. And I think that's about right. And it's starting to look like a pumpkin already. I love it, look at that. All right, so now you are going to grab more rubber bands. And I'm using two because these are small, but if you have the bigger ones, you might just need one. All right, so there it is, nice. And I'm going to cut some of the excess material here. And I think I'm going to do it right here. Now I'm going to use twine to help me shape the sleeve to look more like a pumpkin and I'm also going to use it to make the stem. So what I'm going to do now is cut about two to three pieces that I'm going to use to tie around the pumpkin and they're all gonna meet in the middle. So I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to this little piece right here, to the knot. And I'm going to start wrapping my twine all around the excess material right here to make the stem. I'm going to apply a little bit of glue right here because it's a little looser here because it's the tip. I don't want it to fall apart there. That's a little bit too big. <laughs> What is that? I think I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna cut that. All 
All right, guys, so I ended up adding more twine to the bottom of the stem so it could connect the sweater uh, or the stem to the pumpkin. Um, another thing is this is my third cut <laughs> of the stem. Um, I felt like it started looking a little inappropriate. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but yeah, it did to me. So I decided to cut it a little and just leave some of the um, sweater exposed. And I think that looks better. Maybe my mind is just in the gutter. I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can also add some faux leaves to them if that's what you would like. I'm going to go ahead and add one right here. All right, guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and now you can join this channel through channel membership. All right, guys, until next time, bye.